Here we are in the centre of West Midlands in Birmingham. So here I am in the heart of Birmingham, which seems to be a normal area. But areas like this, and thousands alike, are being terrorised by gangs. A massive crisis has arisen, which is leaving the residents of Birmingham and even the rest of England in chaotic panic. Pigeons. In four out of five violent crimes, there was a pigeon within 17 feet. When you get pecked by them, you turn into one. When they get wet, they multiply rapidly. I think it's down to individual uh, perceptions and their background and their conditioning. But to be fair, I don't really think about it. I mean, as long as I think they're left alone and you're left alone, I think that's OK. And I think they can do themselves a lot of disservice by their body language sometimes, by their peer group, with the swagger and their dress. We're drinking all day, they cause a lot of trouble as well. I mean, you need, you need to look at the troublemakers and perhaps try and find ways to give them something positive to do. But I think you have to be careful anyway. It doesn't matter what generation they are, young or old. If you're walking at night on your own, you have to be careful. This is Blessed Industries, one of the West Midlands and England's biggest game manufacturers. As you can see, it is empty, with only one man remaining, Brian Blessed, the owner of the company. Well, uh, as you can see, my business isn't exactly booming. Uh, ever since the uh, pigeons came about, my staff have not wanted to come in at all. It's very lonely. Uh, sales have dropped dramatically. I'm actually scared to leave the office at night for fear of losing my... Uh, life <laughs> and um, well it's kind of all I do all day is play spider solitaire because I've got nothing to do anyway. whether we're talking about pigeons or gangs of young people we all live in one city and we need to learn to live and respect each other Go, stop the pigeons, stop the